Hello, welcome back to my channel guys before i start working on the honda please help me subscribe to my channel click that bell notification so every time i have new video you guys will be updated but i'm working on a uh, 2002 honda accord 2.3 so right now is the uh, check engine light is on and the car has uh 200 miles right now so uh but uh the engine light code i'm gonna show you is for the uh, egr valve insufficient flow uh it's very common you see temporary temporary should be the same yeah that's the code right there permanent should be the same thing yeah p0401 EGR insufficient flow uh so mo most of the time it's the um, egr that's getting clogged uh that's why it's causing that insufficient flow and then uh the uh the passage that is going through is also clogged show you the uh data on the uh, egr here um it says when the car when the car is uh on idle the voltage should be uh one volt to 1.3 uh as you accelerate the uh egr valve it'll open the uh, position and it'll increase so as you uh um gas gas it up and then the uh the uh, valve will open and then uh it should be between uh four volt to 4.5 volt so let me see where is EGR. Did I pass? Yep, I passed it. So right now I have the key on. It's 1.1. So come on. So let me show you the data. So with the engine idle, 1.15. So as I increase the uh, acceleration, as I gas it up a little bit, this number should be changing. And you can see I'm gassing up a lot, and it's not fully open. You can see, you can see it's stuck at 1.1. It went up, but it went down. There you go, it went up again. what this thing down so the EGR valve is most likely uh, clogged EGR is located right behind the uh, valve cover which is right here this one so what you're gonna do is uh, I move this out of the way the two tubes um, for the connector press on this tab pull check the connector make sure the pin inside is not bent corroded check the uh, wires in the back make sure it's not broken or ripped if it's good um, remove the uh, two 10 millimeter on the uh, bracket right here so you have a little bit of room to move this out of the way to get to the uh, two bolts um, for the bolt there's one right here there's one 12 millimeter right here and there's one right under here my uh, quarter extension with the uh, 12 millimeter swivel there you go next to clean the passage is I'm gonna take out the uh, air tube right here uh, I'm gonna take out half of the uh, intake manifold. So right here from where all the bolt is, I'm gonna take out the uh, top, top half of it, separate it out to clean out the uh, passage. Most of it separate out. I uh, I didn't disconnect any of the coolant line for the uh, thermostat at all. So I just take out the uh, four bolts. You can see, separate it. Um, right now, there's two holes. I believe there's two vacuum holes in the back right here there's this one and then there's this one um, I'm gonna separate the uh, solenoid uh, there's I believe there's two or three bolts 10 millimeter here so I'm gonna separate this out leave this back because uh, I don't want to take out any holes um, and then I get once I take the solenoid out I can take out the whole intake man I've got the two 10 millimeter separate the uh, retake solenoid out and I can take this whole top half assembly out with me. See the uh, passage for the EGR right here is completely clogged. So that's why it's throwing that insufficient flow. And here, here is not as bad, but I'm still gonna clean it out. But most important is the one right here. You can see it's completely clogged. There's no a uh, way for the exhaust circulation going through this. So I'm gonna use a hanger or something small enough to uh, clean it out. My pick here, I'm gonna clean out the hole. 
use a flathead screwdriver if you need. Ooh. See how it's built up? So it's supposed to uh, have a block, uh, a passage to push through like this. So it's supposed to be uh, air pushing through, but this part is completely clogged. That's why it uh, blocked the exhaust circulation. I'm gonna clean it out, make sure it's good. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that, look at that passage. There's no more clog. You can see now it's gonna be a lot easier to flow. There you go. I use uh, my pick and then at the end I use the uh, brake cleaner spray it. I just need to clean this spot so the air flow through it. I'm cleaning this port right here. You can see I'm gonna clean this port. I might have to use the uh, hanger or something. Use a uh, zip tie, shove it down here so it uh, curves like this. You can see the uh, the flow. It goes through uh, up here, down, and then out to the hole right here. So I'm gonna try to clean it as much as I can um, and I'm gonna clean a little bit on this one too the whole coat goes out on this side to the exhaust you can put your finger in you feel another hole right here so I'm gonna uh, try to clean this hole out too uh, it won't be 100% but uh, at least if you can get some airflow going through it so that's good enough you can see all the uh, chunk right here on my uh, pick that's all the uh, build up right there so I've been trying to poke it do whatever I'm trying to clean it out uh, later I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner down too and then I'll blow some air out so it's gonna come out this way it's gonna run out and then come up on this way I'm gonna try to get as much as I can that's it I got my little hanger thingy right here works perfectly so I shove it all the way down oh I can feel it it's all that stuff is breaking there you go I'm gonna do it to both ends Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's clearing out, baby. Ooh, look at all that chunk. Ooh, nasty, nasty. And then I'm gonna do it to this side too. Oh, this side goes, yep, goes in. Get some. I'm trying to make the hole bigger. So, airflow much better if the hole is bigger. Oh, that sound kind of nasty, but uh, if it works, it works. So let me see how far this goes. Damn, you can see it goes all the way, all, all the way down here. Damn. Keep doing it. Keep doing it to this side too. I'm pushing it down. So this side, you don't have to worry because this side, it goes out to the exhaust. So it's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to clear the hole, make it a little bit bigger so it can breathe better flow is a lot stronger so there you go I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner down into that hole you're gonna see it comes up on this side of the hole you can see I spray some of it already some chunk coming out already Woo! look like it's pretty good flow no more clog so I'm gonna use my uh, air gun to blow out all that uh, brake cleaner air gun Woo! all over my face. It's some pretty strong flow. Yep, I can feel it. You see how dirty it is. I'm gonna use another rag. I'm gonna show you the flow of it. So how strong it is. So I'm gonna cover it up. You see air is going through. So that's good enough. Okay, so there's nothing else coming out of the hole, so that's good enough. For the uh, EGR surface, I'm gonna scrape out all the uh, old gasket. So uh, wipe it down, make sure the new gasket it sits flush, no leak when I put back the uh, EGR. There you go, you guys can see it. Scraped out all the uh, old gasket. Here's my new EGR I bought from AutoZone. That's the part number right there. Comes with the uh, gasket. My old one, you can see everything is exactly the same. Um, the passage is a little bit different, but uh, it's gonna work the same thing. So uh, I'm gonna put it in the uh, new EGR. This one cost me 
Uh, I bought it my price 90 but if you guys buy it it's gonna be 150 putting back the uh, the top half of the intake manifold I'm gonna put the EGR last but I put the gasket in already uh, so uh, check the side where the uh, VTEC solenoid goes in make sure you guys have the surface clean so uh, you guys can reuse the old gasket this customer he doesn't want to pay much so I just reuse all the gasket I checked it it's still good this one's still good so I'm gonna reuse all of them so I'm gonna put in the uh, intake manifold uh, the upper half of it uh, I'm gonna have it a little bit slanted uh, I'm gonna put in the uh, VTEC solenoid first and then uh, I can put mount the uh, whole intake manifold down Mount it the uh, VTEC solenoid back on the uh, intake manifold I'm gonna put back the uh, manifold I pretty much got everything in already uh, my two uh, throttle cable this one's to the inside one there you go that's the inside and then this one is for the one on the outside one right there that's the outside so uh, check out the connector everything plug back all the uh, one in the back if you disconnect them plug them on in the back there's one connector right there on the intake manifold and then there's a ground the uh, perch valve my PCV now I'm just gonna drop in my uh, EGR like which way to go this go yeah this go it goes this way there you go you drop in I'm gonna put my uh, breather back and then uh, tighten down the EGR put everything back the air air box air tube everything again all the hoses how it goes right here this one goes here one right here, the one on top, vacuum brake booster, the uh, breather, the uh, um, all the hoses, the bracket. I put the bracket back to tighten down my uh, new EGR already. So now I'm just gonna turn on the car, clear the check engine light. Now I have the uh, key on. I'm gonna show you the code again. Automatic with the AC. So uh, most of the time, this code is very common on a Honda. The uh, EGR gets clogged because of the uh, passage that was clogged to. Those two are very common, the EGR and the uh, EGR passage. So always gets clogged. So that's why I always throw this code in sufficient flow. There you go. I'm gonna clear the code. Code is cleared. There you go. I'm gonna turn off the car. Turn off the car. Turn it back on. Battery's kind of low. So uh, I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit. I'm gonna go outside and check for the uh, uh, any leak. So try it one more time. There you go. Much better. So uh, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna check for leak. Double check your work again. Make sure. All the vacuum holes are in, uh, no vacuum leak. Check for any coolant leak. If everything is good, that's it. The engine's now running good, guys, better than before. So uh, if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, no matter, I'm out. Peace.